Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome, so happy to have you. As you can tell, we are in my bathroom today. I know, not the most glamorous of places, but still, I am in here because I felt really inspired. I wanted to show you guys my updated skincare routine because I just realized it's been over five years since the last, since the first video I made about my skincare. And let's just say a lot has changed between now and then. Uh, when I did my first one, I was 20. So, you know, now I'm 25, almost 26, which is crazy. I feel a lot younger than that, but you know, that's the power of maintaining being youthful. Anywho, <laughs> I digress, but today I wanted to take a moment and show you guys some of the new products I've been using. Don't get me wrong, I still love Aveda. I was using all Aveda in my first video, but I have found some other products that work just as well for me, which is really kind of a miracle considering I have very sensitive skin and it can be very difficult to find things that truly work for that. But anyways, oh, I also wanted to show you some new products that I've been incorporating into my skincare routine since the first time I showed you guys. So as you can tell, I'm already prepped and ready to go. Got my claw clip in my little headband. I think this is from the Vintage Cosmetic Company, but it was a gift, like a Christmas gift, I think. Anyways, um, I digress. All right, before I begin, let's just have a drink. This water, I love this Simple Modern Cup, by the way. I honestly, this is my personal opinion, but I think they are way better than Stanley's. <laughs> serve the same purpose. Am I right? All right. So first thing I'm going to do in my routine, I just remembered I still have my dry brush from Aveda that I used uh, originally, but it's been so long since I've used it. This is actually something that I want to incorporate more into my daily routine, but I just forgot about most of the time. So um, I did dust it off by the way, so there's no weird germs. But anyways, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try and circulate my skin for some blood flow using this dry brush. I also got myself a little rose quartz facial roller since the first skincare routine. Um, and I use that on occasion as well to not only get the blood flow going, but really just for a nice cool massage to my skin. I can't remember if you use it before the products or after. So I might use it afterwards uh, later on. So I'm just going in and massaging my skin with the dry brush in a circular motion and just really working that in. I feel like I need to go harder a little bit because I feel like it's not really giving the results I wanted. But I think the last time I did this was with oil. Um. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, this, this and the facial roller are things that I don't do on the regular, but I would like to start doing more consistently, you know, just to maintain my radiance and my youthful look. And then the next thing we are going to do is of course, wash our face. So I just got this new Drunk Elephant Cleanser. This is the Bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser. It has cantaloupe and glycerin. I have actually heard so much about Drunk Elephant and I've never really used her products before up until recently because I was super lucky to come across a bunch of Drunk Elephant skincare in, uh, one of the estate sales that my mom was recently hosting through our family business. So it was really cool to come across a bunch of new Drunk Elephant skincare to try because I've heard so much about this brand online, um, mainly about Gen Alpha kids using this, which is kind of crazy. They honestly shouldn't be because their skin is so like 
still developing really and I've heard that they're these products are very active anyways that is enough about that but I'm going to go ahead and wash my face um, another thing I have been using a little bit more consistently but I would like to use more often is my uh, facial brush this one is from Conair and I have literally had this facial brush for years like such a long time i believe i got the actual brush compart like component when i was still working at tuesday morning which was when i was like 18 19. um i do have a new head since then you can get them the replaceable heads from amazon thankfully but yes this is an amazing amazing brush so i'm going to put some of this cleanser on and that and then I'm going to go ahead and oh oh my gosh it almost fell and I was like <laughs> I have very good reflexes as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and again I'm going in with circular motions this is actually the first time I've been using this product on my brush. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it real quick. There we go. I love how it's already like getting sudsy and everything. I love that for me. As you can see, my headband is like tilting back a little bit so don't mind that yeah I'm gonna go down my neck too before the timer runs out all right I'm going to go rinse this real quickly I will be right back All right, so got that rinsed off. I still, I still pat dry the product when I'm doing, when I'm drying it for my skin. Sometimes I'll just swipe through, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So let me just fix this hair. <laughs> and yes, for those who are seeing it now, I just dyed it and yeah henna is not for me and i would also highly discourage people from using henna it's not not cute okay okay the, <laughs> i digress all right so the next step we are going to do in my skin root keratin is put on some oil this is from trader joe's this is the marula facial oil this is another product i recently got from one of the estate sales that i worked on um the same one with the drunk elephant so i am very happy i found this because it is amazing for my skin so i'm going to take a few drops of that and put that onto my fingertips and then just rub it all rub it all in um let's see yeah definitely i wasn't using oil as much before but I didn't realize how moisturizing and amazing like it feels on my skin when I do use it and yeah it's it's a game changer it brings a lot of moisture to my skin so yeah so we got that nicely massaged in there um, and then the next step we are going to do in my routine is some eye cream this one is from Verify. This is the 2020 eye cream. I got it in my Ipsy bag like a while ago when I was still an Ipsy member. And I just love eye cream because as you can tell, my eyelids are very puffy and anytime I use it, the puffiness will go away like instantly. So that's great for most mornings when I wake up looking and feeling like a zombie. Um, so I'm going to go in and do my under eyes to just really get that massaged in. I 
don't know why I put a bunch of my eyelids, but there we go. And then next up we are going to do in my routine is a serum. So this is kind of a travel size one, but this is also from Drunk Elephant. This is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I have been using the nighttime serum uh, from Drunk Elephant lately, which is this one, the TLC from Boys Glycolic Night Serum. This is actually amazing. I love, I, I feel like it's very, not active, but it's like just active enough for me if I, you know, to really, it, it, let's just say it works, all right? It does work. So I actually, this is gonna be my first time using the daytime. I don't know why it's in this little like travel size thing, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and then rub that in. And then I think, I think I'll go ahead now and show you how I use my facial roller. So this side, I'm, I typically use like up and down my face, like side to side, just really massage all of that in. Oh my gosh, I love when I get it right out of the freezer because it feels so so cooling to the touch. Let me just move this hair. <laughs> All right, so that is, this is definitely something, like I said, I need to be doing more often just to get the lymphatic, uh, the lymphatic stuff moving, if you know, you know. But yeah, this is rose quartz. I'm gonna go down on my neck and massage it too, because you want to get that stuff going too. And then this small side, I typically use under my eyes, my lids, and just any small spaces that I can't get in with my, um, with the bigger side, I typically use the smaller side for that as well. Oh my gosh, it feels so so nice i have not i seriously don't know what i was thinking but if you guys want to know something funny anytime i use this tool my mom has her own but like anytime we use it my mom <laughs> my mom will joke around and see like we're mo monster mashing our face like <laughs> like the song monster mash it's so fucking funny i just thought i would share because it's like close to halloween but it's so cute. She calls it that. All right. So that is pretty much done. We got this, the daytime serum on. And then the next step in my routine. So, uh, one thing that I have started doing since I, my original skincare routine was using pimple patches. And honestly, guys, I don't know where this has been all my life. Um, Back in middle school, I was really bad at picking my space when I still was like going through puberty and having acne. Of course, my mom would always get on me for picking on my face. And I remember one time I was at school and, and this was like fourth grade. Anyways, um, one of my teachers was like giving me a hard time about picking my face and warning me about scars. I'm like, bitch, what scars? <laughs> I didn't know what, I didn't see them. So I was like, what are you talking about? But obviously I've had, I had a phase, uh, back then where I, you know, I was kind of, like, kind of in my coming of age era. So I was like, you know, that awkward phase of puberty and being a tween and everything where my face was just really, really wrecked from all the times I was picking at it. So I really wish I had these back then because I feel like it would have saved me so much from impulsively picking. And I feel like these do now. Um, so these are the Han Hu Extra Strength Blemish Patch. And when I discovered these, they changed my life. Honestly, like it's also for me, it's so satisfying watching the uh, impurities kind of uh, drain out from my skin whenever I put these on. So I'm going to, I see a few different acne spots that I want to cover. I could pop my, my zits on camera, but I'm not doing that. Okay. No. Um, but even then, if I did 
did need to pop any blemishes. I have my uh, estheticians tools to do that. Thanks to my mom. But yeah, so I'm going to go in and just put a few pimple patches on. Um, I don't know. If, wait, that didn't work. I think this one's been really bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead. I hope it sticks though. Okay. It looks like it's going to be fine. Just because I put serum on, I was like, uh, is this going to even stick to my face? And then there's a few others that are like coming up to the surface. I'm going to do a couple, like at least one more. I'm using that. All right. So is there any more? Okay. So typically also with my skin now, like I forgot to follow up on that. With my skin now, I've noticed that I have typically a lot, like on a normal day-to-day -day basis, my skin is very clear and I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, I have, the, one of the biggest differences though, since the first skincare routine I did is that I have started germ planning and huge shout out to my esthetician, Kelly, um, at Blossom Spa in Phoenix for doing it for me the first time and really just changing my life when it comes to that because I've noticed like a huge difference in my skin's appearance whenever I do dermaplane and it's just easier to put on makeup and just gives me more of like a glowy feel kind of like the glass skin vibes that are very popular um but yeah so I have started dermaplaning since then and I wanted to show you guys the tool that I've been using. This is the Sonic Smooth by Michael Todd Beauty and honestly this this machine this product is amazing. Um, I like these I like this way better than the like disposable eyebrow razors you can typically find. Um, it's nice because like it can turn on and you just hear it like vibrating and then it's just working away. Um, I'm not going to dermaplane right now just because I put this stuff, stuff on, but if I do need to dermaplane, I typically do it like once a month, um, if my skin really needs it. And honestly, yeah, it's great for giving my skin more of a radiant finish, but I do notice when I dermaplane sometimes that my skin, um, will, I will occasionally have some breakouts. So these pimple patches are amazing for that. I also sometimes do like a little sheet mask or, you know, a spot treatment, like a, like a clay mask. I still love the Aveda clay mask. Which one? Oh yeah. The deep cleansing clay mask. I still love this. This is great for just drawing out all the impurities as well. So <laughs> I digress. All right. So moving forward, uh, the next step in my skincare routine is of course, moisturizer so i'm going to go ahead and use this new one i got as well this is the ren clean skincare glow daily vitamin c gel cream uh, it's clean to skin clean to planet which of course your girl loves um so i'm going to take a couple pumps on my fingertips well i guess i only needed one i guess this product you get a little goes a long way so i'm trying to be make sure my pimple patch doesn't come off but yeah, I love the smell of this. It's like orange, like orange blossoms, obviously to be expected with this is vitamin C and yeah, yeah, this is, this is a really amazing, uh, and then, oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys that I have been using more frequently in my skincare routine is related to makeup removal. I still sometimes use the Neutrogena makeup wipes, but since my first routine, I have changed up the products I use quite a bit. Um, I don't rely so much on the makeup remover wipes as much as I do the makeup eraser. Now, my friend, shout out, huge shout out to my friend Jacqueline, who is another licensed esthetician I know. I haven't worked with her personally, but she is amazing and I can tell that she is very passionate in her work and, you know, she specializes with um, acne clients. She's even worked on my sister on her acne boot camp, so I'm really grateful 
that uh, she has Jacqueline for those things. But anyway, uh, she was the one who recommended the makeup erasers. It was so funny because um, shortly after she told me like the benefits about them, I found this huge bag of like different colors of makeup erasers. Like I have a bunch of neutrals over here. Let's see if I can pull them out of this bag. Yeah, so I have all of these makeup erasers that I found. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I love these so much. Not only are they really great for the environment, so if you're very conscious about those things like I am, you feel good knowing that you're not just wasting a bunch of product that's eventually going to go in a landfill. But besides that, I another reason why I love the makeup eraser so much is that you know, after just doing a simple wash of my face and getting off like the other layers of makeup, this is really great at getting stubborn eye makeup, like mascara, even waterproof mascara. This has been amazing. And like, I'm just amazed every time I use them, like how quickly the stuff comes off and you really don't have to work so hard or tug at your eyes very much. So I highly, highly recommend getting a makeup eraser if you don't have one already, or even like a, a, a similar one, like a dupe from anywhere else, because they have changed my life for the better and I cannot recommend them enough. Also, if you wanna follow Jacqueline and her journey, um, I will link her Instagram down in the description. I think her user is skin by Jacqueline Kylie or Jacqueline Kylie skincare. I think it's Jacqueline Kylie skincare, but she has a lot of great tips, um, you know, as an esthetician that she'll share on her feed too. So, um, just wanted to give her a quick shout out and thanking her for putting me onto this. <laughs> All right. And then final, final step in my skincare routine is of course, you know, if I know I'm going to be outside, honestly, this should be a daily thing for me. I don't know why I'm saying that. I know that I should be doing this every day, but I'm going to put on some sunscreen. This one is my absolute favorite. A huge shout out to my esthetician, Kelly, for recommending this image sunscreen. This is the Prevention Plus Daily Ultimate Protection Moisturizer in SPF 50. I really, really love this sunscreen. I, I have been wearing it a ton for the summer while laying out by the pool, but of course, for an, an everyday kind of like pr protection barrier. I highly, highly recommend Image. I think for me, like the ingredients in sunscreen are very, very important. Um, you know, just avoiding certain chemicals. And with Image, I feel really good knowing that they use high quality ingredients and also like just keeping my skin protected. And like, it is very heavy. I will say that, but it is very, very effective. And um, I'm so glad I found this. They do also have a tinted moisturizer too, which I have yet to try. But um, yeah, that is the kind of, that is the final step of my skincare routine. Another thing I like about these pimple patches is that you can wear them like, you know, when you're going to sleep, under makeup, or just by themselves. And they're, I love how these ones are very transparent. Um, so yeah, that is my everyday skincare routine, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or recommendations for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you are new. And what else? And if you want to stay up to date with future content, make sure you, you, Yes, you hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, stay sassy, sending you all love and light.